All right, we want to check back in on that breaking news now going on in Grand Prairie at the uh, 4200 block of uh, Main Street there. Uh, we're tweaking the information here just a bit as we learn more here. Originally, we were told this was a tire fire. As you can see, we've got a fire and we've got a lot of tires. Fortunately, that huge stack that you see there hasn't ignited yet. You can, in fact, though, see that firefighters are pulling those tires away from the flames at this point, trying to get them out of harm's way here because because uh, if those ignite, we've got an even nastier situation on our hands. But as you can see, it is plenty nasty on its own right now. We're told, in fact, that what is burning there are some cars at an auction site. And uh, boy, they are just uh, belching some really thick, nasty black smoke into the air there. And as you can see, if you're traveling around DFW right now, as we take this live look from HD Chopper 8, you're going to see this uh, on the roads uh, all around. Uh, but uh, you should know that we haven't had any reports of injuries at this point. But uh, Colleen, uh, certainly a, a, a tough job for firefighters out there today as we see them getting in there, trying to remove those tires and obviously eventually uh, try to get this fire under control because uh, you know we have winds to deal with, at least some anyway. And boy, the heat that they're dealing with out there is pretty extraordinary. Yes, Jason, they're dealing with a lot of heat. Of course, those temperatures up around 100 degrees today. Uh, there is a little bit of a light wind uh, in Grand Prairie about south around 8 to 10 miles per hour. But I know any type of wind can, of course, uh, continue to ignite that fire. And the good news is, though, we have a lot of humidity. Uh, the heat index is well over 105, so you know there is moisture in the air. Uh, but as we take a look at uh, HG Chopper 8 right now, there's a lot of brush. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of uh, things around there that can catch fire. So even though the humidity is high, it's not dry. We don't have drought conditions across North Texas. Uh, still could catch that brush on fire. But those firefighters are at least going to deal with a light wind throughout the rest of the afternoon. And of course, no rain today to help them out. Uh, so again, a, a very uh, scary situation for them. Pretty sweltering too, too when you're wearing all of that gear and uh, you're right there next to those flames that are bursting out, uh, trying to get some of those tires out of the way. By the way, uh, we're going to switch back to uh, the original story here. This apparently is a tire fire after all. There may be some vehicles involved there as well so that were up for auction, uh, but we were able to see it with our eyes uh, just a moment ago that you can see quite a few tires there uh, at least on the, 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 the outskirts, the boundary of that fire uh, that are in fact uh, fully involved. And again, firefighters trying to remove that additional fuel there uh, to the left of this fire. That's right. You saw them moving those tires, Jason. There are hundreds of tires you can see as we continue to take a live look from HD Chopper 8 of this fire burning and those flames. They are massive. This is a very mm -hmm. big fire, Jason. Again, these are this is a tighter look now at all the tires on the ground that we saw those firefighters continuing to move so that they no longer feed uh -huh. this massive, incredible fire. I mean, when you saw that shot of yeah. HT Topper 8 backing out, just how high all of that smoke is rising, likely you can see this from several miles out. Mm -hmm. And as Colleen mentioned, you have trees in the area still trying to figure out what other structures are in the area, which could very easily then become a part of this blaze. And you may be wondering why do you you don't see a bunch of streams of water going on to this. I, I know I've covered a lot of these tire fires in the past, and depending on how high that mound is, uh, it almost does no good to throw water on it because you've got those tires underneath. If you've ever made a, a, a fire in your in your charcoal pit there uh, when you're grilling out, uh, you know that those uh, briquettes that are down uh, in the middle of that mountain tend to just keep on burning. Well, it, it's that way on a large scale uh, with a lot of these tire fires, and sometimes they have to let these things burn themselves out, and they can smolder for weeks, uh, even longer than that. So uh, we'll see how they go about attacking this. It looks like they do have that ladder truck there, but I don't see a stream of water coming out of that. But you can see uh, they are dealing with a really bad situation out there. Plenty of uh, trees and, and, and more tires all around that. Uh, so this could get worse uh, before it gets better. We will definitely keep watching that again. This is the 4200 block of Main Street in Grand Prairie. Stay away from that area.